Friday night in the Catholic League and Jack Curran Gymnasium has been packed since the freshman game. We're ready for the big boys as News 12 Varsity presents game time in Queens as the Christ the King Royals take on the Archbishop Malloy Stanners. And a pleasant good evening everybody, I'm John Perez. Malloy might have the most talent in the Catholic League with their big three of Cole Anthony, Moses Brown and Khalid Moore. College coaches have been buzzing around Manton Street trying to catch a glimpse of Malloy's big three while they're still young and while they're still impressionable. For Christ the King, they only have one returning starter and that's Jose Alvarado. This is a new group for Joe Arvatello and his team, but they still feel that they have the pedigree to win come February into early March. With that said, let's take a look at our impact players for Christ the King. We mentioned that Jose Alvarado is the only returning starter from last year. He'll be playing his future ball at Georgia Tech next season. When he made his decision back in December, his head coach said, when you're walking into Cameron Indoor Stadium or the Dean Dome, you want Jose Alvarado on your side. The Jack Curran Gymnasium is one of the tougher places to play in the Catholic League, and the Royals wouldn't want anyone else to lead them through the dogfight. For Malloy, Cole Anthony's name has been buzzing around Queens. He's the son of former NBA player Greg Anthony. Cole has drawn comparisons to Kenny Anderson, and he's only a sophomore, but can do so many things on the floor. He can pull up from 30 feet, he can cut to the hoop, and he always seems to find the open man. It's standing room only in a stuffy Jack Curran gymnasium. It's Christ the King and Malloy, and it's all coming up next on News 12 Varsity's Game Time. Back here at Jack Curran Gymnasium, they were turning away people at the door. It is so packed here. Christ the King and Archbishop Malloy as we get set to go. And we'll give you the starting lineups for Christ the King with Jose Alvarado and Tyson Walker in the backcourt. And up front, the big coffee, Cockburn, standing at 6'11". His doctor said that he'll round out around 7'1". And his two forwards, Jared Harrison Hunt and Phillips Joseph. For Malloy, a similar lineup to what they've been rolling out the entire year, Vertucci and Cole Anthony in the backcourt, and up front, Moses Brown, Khalid Moore, and John Herrig. Christ the King in the maroon and gold, Archbishop Malloy in the home whites with the blue trims, and it'll be Cockburn and Moses Brown to get the opening tip as we get set to go. A Friday night in Queens at Archbishop Malloy. They're packed to the gills, and this crowd's been waiting since the freshman game. The tip is up, and Archbishop Malloy will win the opening tip, the Standers, six and three, ranked number nine in News 12 Varsity's Tri-State Poll, fourth in New York City. They're in third place in the Brooklyn Queens AA division, coming off a seven point loss at Mount St. Michael on Saturday. This is a young group that's still trying to put together a complete 32 minute stretch as John Herring gets fouled going to the line. And that's gonna be on Phillips Joseph, his first and the team's first. John Herring, a six-foot senior, a 47% free throw shooter in the southpaw at 14 points against Mount St. Michael, and he gets the first free throw to go. Herring has made the most leaps, says his head coach, Mike McCleary, as he misses the second one, but Jackson Vertucci goes sprawling to the ground, can't come up with it, and Jose Alvarado will march into the front court. Christ the King, seven and three, Ranked 18th in News 12 Varsity's Tri-State Paul, 7th in New York City. As the pass goes out to Walker in the corner, 20 to shoot. A 1-0 Malloy lead, 7.20 to go in the opening quarter. Here's Walker, who was coming off the bench a lot last year and is seen as the point guard of the future, and he draws a foul as that foul is going to go against Jackson Vertucci. So a foul apiece for both of these teams. Christ the King, the top team in the Brooklyn Queens AA division. They went 19-9 last year and swept Malloy in the season series, but the Royals fell just short of winning their fourth straight city title. They lost to Bishop Lachlan in the semifinal. Here's Alvarado, step back jumper off the mark to the left, and it gets tipped in by John Herring. So they'll give the basket to Alvarado, and it's 2-1 Christ the King lead. It's a different year for head coach Joe Arbatello as Cole Anthony gets blocked at the summit by Kofi Cockburn. And it's chased down by Alvarado. Here comes Christ the King the other way. Walker thought about it. Now splits inside over Brown and he's going to get called for steps. The first turnover for the Royals. 
But as we said, a different year for Joe Arbatello. He's had to be more of a teacher this year than in years past. He only has one starter from last year's team as the handoff goes to Khalid Moore. Now it's taken away. Here's Walker the other way. Walker to the cup, and he splashes it in. Walker, the 5'10 junior, had a game-high 16 points against Providence of Florida in the beach ball consolation title game on New Year's Eve, and he gives his team a 4-1 lead. Herrig to Moore, inside. Brown working on Cockburn. That ball gets stripped by Joseph. Rolls out of bounds. It'll stay with Malloy, 18 to shoot. Well, outside of the Jose Alvarado Cole Anthony matchup, it's going to be interesting to see Brown and Cockburn as Brown gets stripped again, and here comes Walker the other way. Leads it off. Alvarado tees up a three, book it. Jose Alvarado averaging 17 and a half points a game. He had eight points on three of 13 shooting from the floor, but he cans his first triple, and it's a 7 1 lead for Christ the King as we get a foul the other way. And that'll go on Tyson Walker. It'll be his first and the team's second. Christ the King out to a 7-1 lead as they throw it into Moore. Moore, the spin move underneath to Brown, and he slams it in. <laughs> Moses Brown, 9.6 rebounds on Tuesday afternoon in the loss to Mount St. Michael. Jared Harrison Hunt to the cup. Can't get it to go. Ball still tipped around, and Herring comes down with it. Towing that end line. Not much room, and the... On the side of the baskets, or even behind the basket as that ball gets tipped. And it'll stay with Malloy, 28 to shoot. Underneath, Herring, and he blows the layup. Rebound, Joseph. Phillips Joseph, Jared Harrison Hunt. Two guys that started for the Christ the King freshman team last year, and by necessity, Christ the King has thrown them into the varsity fold. Alvarado, second three attempt, no good. Rebound, Brown. Here's Cole Anthony working on Cockbore into the hoop. No, but a foul. And they'll say the foul was on the floor. And that foul is going to go against Cockbore. as they throw it into Moore. Flings it the other way, Herring. Going to the tin, no, tipped by Brown, no, but then Khalid Moore is able to get that one to roll. Second field goal for Malloy. They cut the deficit to 7-5 with 4.35 remaining in the opening period. Alvarado into the post to Cockburn, working on Brown. That ball gets tipped. Goes out of bounds, it'll stay with the Royals. Well, last year, Cockburn learning some new moves in the post, and he said he doesn't really see himself as a down-low player, but a face-to-the-basket player. But Joe Arbatello says that he's so coachable that he still needs to learn the fundamentals of being a big man down low. Walker, and a nice little floating shot. Gives Christ the King a 9-5 lead. Moore the other way in the corner. Thought about a three, now inside to Brown. Brown's going to work on Cockburn again. Nobody draws a foul. And the 7-1 center going to the line. As that foul goes on Cockburn, it's going to be his second and the team's fourth. Well, last year, Brown said that by the middle of his junior year, he'll be where he wants to be as a basketball player. And when I spoke to him in practice on Wednesday evening, he said that he's exceeded where he initially wanted to be. Second free throw, he can't get it to go. More of the offensive rebound and then gets slapped at by Walker, and Walker clears. Here's Tyson Walker looking underneath the Cockburn. Vertucci will come up with it. Here's Vertucci going to the hole, blocked by Alvarado. Jose Alvarado with a nice step in. Crossing midcourt, floats it over towards Walker in the corner. 
Tries to skip it back out, and it's taken away by Moore. From Moore, in the flush. Khalid Moore averaging 10.3 points a game. Struggled against Mount on Tuesday afternoon. Missed four of five from the floor, but he gets his first deuce. And he puts his team within two, 9-7. Here's Alvarado floating into Cockburn. Cockburn working on Brown. Nobody draws the foul. And that'll be the first on Brown. Cockburn, the 6'11 sophomore, averaging 9.5 points a game. He had a double-double against Providence on New Year's Eve. 13 points and 13 boards. Grew up in Kingston, Jamaica. Cockburn, Cockburn's first sport was soccer. He was a forward, but stopped playing because of a growth spurt when he was 9 years old. He was a point guard growing up, but because of that growth spurt, he had to learn how to be a big man. Jade C checks in for Malloy as Cockburn misses the second. So C, Brown, Moore, Anthony, and Herring on the floor as Anthony gets the roll and the foul. That foul's going to go on Alvarado, and it'll be his first. Cockburn to the bench. Adam El Gamal checks in for Christ the King. It's Cole Anthony, as well as he's played on the floor, you still have to remember he's only a sophomore. Can't get the free throw to go. As Hunt will give it off to Walker. But that's one thing that his head coach, Mike McCleary, says that sometimes that you forget that he's so young considering how talented he is. Harrison Hunt underneath, and Jared gets the bucket. Hunt, the 6'6 sophomore. Now it's Moore. Moore inside over El Gamal and the flush, Moses Brown. Moses Brown, fourth in the Catholic League in scoring as Walker the other way. Tyson Walker in this game last year against the Standers was that spark off the bench that Christ the King needed, had 11 points, eight of which were in the fourth quarter. Hunt grabs the board, now it's Walker taking off four Standers, the kick out, but a foul before the dish. Jade C picks up the first foul as Jalen Davis will check in for the Royals. Walker to float it in, and then Moore bumps El Gamal. That'll be the first on Moore and the team's fourth. Two-point lead for Christ the King, 13-11, with a minute 45 to go in the first quarter. Jose Alvarado, Tyson Walker, Adam El Gamal, Jalen Davis, and Jared Harrison Hunt on the floor for the Royals. El Gamal in the corner, thought about it, now in the post. Harrison Hunt blocked by Herring. Jade C the other way, the dish off. Herring, hop step. And it'll be a jump ball, possession arrow pointing for the Royals. Well, the one thing that Arbitello admitted about his young core is that they all know how to play defense and have the raw tools to be a good defensive team. And eventually their shots will come around as they get older. Here's Alvarado kicking it out. Walker, he'll tee up a three. Splash. Tyson Walker is feeling it. He's got a couple of buckets from the field. He hits his first three, and it's a 16-11 lead for the Royals with under a minute to go. Moore thought about it. Now he'll tee one up. No good off to the right, off the top of the backboard. And it'll be Royals basketball. Here's 
Here's Alvarado working on Moore. Alvarado with 18. He'll line up this three. And he can't stick it. Moses Brown with the rebound, and he's going to get called for steps. Well, Moses Brown averages 14 boards a game, the most in the Catholic League, but he shuffled his feet. And Christ the King can hold for the last shot with 25.9 to go in this opening period. Walker in the corner. Christ the King started this period on a 7-1 run. Malloy came to chip back, and then Christ the King with a five-point lead right now. Eight seconds to go. It's Alvarado and C. He gets a screen. Here's Alvarado to the cut, blocked by Brown. And now Anthony with two seconds, one. The pass to Moore to beat the buzzer, and he gets it to go. Khalid Moore, the buzzer beater, and that will do it at the end of one. Christ the King with a 16-13 lead on News 12 Varsity's Game Time. Well, Christ the King lost more than just the city semifinal to Bishop Lachlan last year. They lost four starters, and there you see the departures from Middle Village. Christ the King will never use the term rebuilding, but it's a younger group, and Arbitello admits that he embraces the challenge of guiding a youthful team. And he said that he's had to teach more this year than in years past. A 16-13 lead for the Royals as we start the second quarter. On the floor for the Royals, Alvarado, Davis, El Gamal, Walker, and Jared Harrison Hunt. Malloy with possession, John Herring to the cup, can't get it to go. Moses Brown's follow won't go, and a foul underneath. Jade C, Khalid Moore, and Cole Anthony, the rest of the standers on the floor. As that foul will go to Jalen Davis, and Moses Brown to shoot a pair. Well, the offers have piled up for Brown. This past summer he picked up offers from Arizona, Kansas, and Maryland. St. John's has been to a lot of his games, Chris Mullen and Greg St. Jean as well. But it's a pretty impressive list, as you see, and he goes 0 for 2 at the free throw line. Khalid Moore, and he'll earn a trip to the line. And that foul will go on Jared Harrison Hunt. Well, Moore. Broke his nose in the second game of the season. He came back against Iona Prep in late December. And speaking to high school coaches and AAU coaches, they say that Khalid Moore has been working on his jump shot, and he's better from the field, but he misses his free throws. Malloy, as a team, only shooting 63% from the charity stripe this year. And they go 0 for 4 in their two trips from Moore. And Brown, that shot gets tipped. Tyson Walker going to the cup more with the whack, and then he picks up the foul, and then so Walker, after blowing the layup, then commits the foul. So it'll be one and one for Moore. Well, when you look at Malloy's roster and the talent that they breed, Moore can sometimes be forgotten in the shadow of Moses Brown and Cole Anthony, but his head coach, Mike McCleary, says that when it's all said and done, Moore might have the better career at Malloy out of the three. Phillips Joseph checks in for Jared Harrison Hunt. And this time, Moore hits a pair. And Malloy within one, 16-15, 7.20 to go in the second quarter. Alvarado, the baseball pass. Jalen Davis, that pass gets intercepted and Moore the other way. Moore with his head up, looking down, hop step, inside to Brown, and he uses the two hands for the flush. Well, Moses Brown shooting 64% from the field, and you can see why. He's money inside three feet. And with Coffee Cockburn on the bench, we'll see how Malloy attacks the paint. Jade C a little behind the back. Tries to pass it underneath and then loses it. Here's Walker. Walker, the kick out. Alvarado thought about a three. Hop step inside. No, but a foul. As that foul is going to go against John Herrig. Foul's on number 20, John Herrig. His first, team's fifth. 
Jose Alvarado, the reigning CHSAA Player of the Year. He was the fifth Royal to be named Player of the Year. Raleigh Alkins, John Sevier, Omar Calhoun, and Sean Johnson were the others. Recorded the first quadruple double in Christ the King history against Zavarian on December 22nd. He finished with 18 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, and 10 steals. As he gets the second freebie. I had the opportunity to go to Christ the King's practice yesterday, and Alvarado just shook his head in amazement that he was able to be the first and only Royal to accomplish that feat of a quadruple double. And another traveling violation against Malloy. Well, this is a Malloy team that turns the ball over 14 times a game. They've already committed five turnovers. As Christ the King will walk it up. Coffee Cockburn back now on the floor for the Royals to defend the interior. Phelps Joseph, 20 to shoot. Spins a pass over to Davis. Down low to Cockburn, working on Brown. Now it's Davis. Straight away three. Bingo. A 21-17 lead for the Royals. 5.50 to go. Cole Anthony, he'll jack one up. Can't connect. Moses Brown, offensive rebound, but we'll get a foul, and it'll go the other way. The push off against Brown. And that's going to be his second. So both of the big men in this game plagued with two fouls. Joseph Hotch, the six-foot junior, will replace Moses Brown. And we'll see this at time when Moses Brown is not on the floor for Malloy. John Herrig becomes a designated big man, and he guards Coffee Cockburn in the post right now. Then he gets double teamed to kick out Davis. They'll swing it around. Tyson Walker, he can't stick the three. Rebound more. Here comes Cole Anthony the other way. Cole Anthony, hop step. Can't get it to go, but a whistle. And that foul is going to go against Jalen Davis, his second in the team's ninth. Well, Cole Anthony garnering a lot of attention, especially from coaches across the league as he hits the first free throw. In fact, Joe Arbitello, the head coach of the Royals, called Cole Anthony the best point guard at his age since Stephon Marbury. Of course, Marbury, storied career at Lincoln. Good career in the NBA. How about an even better career across seas in China. Anthony puts Malloy within two, 21-19, 5.15 to go in the second quarter. Phillips Joseph in the corner. Now it's Tyson Walker. Walker and Hotch, 20 to shoot, as Walker will bring him back out. Walker, the teardrop, so pure. Now the other way is C. The bounce over. Khalid Moore. Pull up. No good. Alvarado. Yo-yoing. Guarded by Moore. Jose Alvarado. With the scoop. And we'll get a whistle. And a delay game warning against Coffee Cockburn. But nonetheless, a 25-19 lead for Christ the King. 4.20 to go in the second quarter. And a whistle, and Malloy will call a timeout as they'll talk it over. 4.21 to go in the second quarter. Christ the King with a 25-19 lead. Cole Anthony, Jade C., Joe Hotch, Khalid Moore, and John Herring on the floor for the Stanners. Phillips Joseph, Tyson Walker, Jared Harrison Hunt, Jose Alvarado, and Coffee Cockburn on the floor for the Royals. They float it underneath. Here's Moore. Puts it on the floor and gets the deuce. A 
Khalid Moore averaging 10.3 points a game. Shooting 42% from the floor. Phillips Joseph. Joseph, the fall away splash. Joseph said that he's always been the youngest player on the court. Growing up, he always had to play with adults, and those pickup games have toughened him up, especially for atmospheres like this. Anthony will hoist and can't sink it. Now Walker. Walker, the fall away, book it. Tyson Walker has been feasting on the standards here on Manton Street the last two years. Anthony, the bounce out. C, gets Alvarado, the pull up, and he sinks it. Five point lead for the Royals, 29-24, 2.55 to go. Walker lost it. C picks it up. C, the kick out to Anthony. And yeah, Malloy will swing it around. Here's C, gets stripped. And Jose Alvarado will pick up the foul. Well, Jade C, the junior guard, three for seven from the charity stripe this season. As he hits the first one, he's at a perfect 50%, four for eight. Started his high school career at Holy Cross, then transferred to Cardoza, played under Ron Niclario before coming to Malloy, and he goes one for two at the line, four of nine on the year. Here's Alvarado getting past the sea of defenders, and Alvarado and Anthony getting tied up for that one with the possession arrow pointing for Christ the King. Treston Livingston will check in for the standards as Joe Hotch will take a breather. Coffee Cockburn coming out to the perimeter. Facing the basket to the hoop. Can't get the floater, rebound more. Here's Anthony. Back to C, now Anthony. Looking for Jose Alvarado and then a whistle called. And that's gonna go against Jared Harrison Hunt and Alvarado looking at the near side official saying, that foul's not on me, is it? And they confirmed it was on Harrison Hunt. Cole Anthony working on his shooting in the offseason. He actually would do a lot of shooting drills with Joe Toussaint from Cardinal Hayes. Those two would call each other up, put up about 100 shots a session. He misses the second one. And Phillips Joseph with his team up three and under two minutes to go. Now it's Walker crossing the timeline. Walker and C, floating it underneath. It's Cockburn and a foul on the floor. And that's gonna go against Joe, John Herring. And it'll be his second and the team's seventh. Coffee Cockburn, the latest CTK big man, Adonis De La Rosa. The other one started his career at St. John's and then now playing at Kent State. And it's Cole Anthony up top. 95 seconds to go in the opening half and a three point lead, Christ the King over Beloy, 29-26. Anthony and Alvarado. Anthony gives up his dribble, seed looking for Anthony, now gives it to Treston Livingston. And the low block, it's Moore, the kick out. C, he'll line this one up. And he can't sink it, here's Alvarado, it's a three on one, Alvarado, the lob. 
And that pass didn't have enough mustard on it as Hunt wasn't able to put it down. Jalen Davis will check in for Cockburn. Anthony Lang will check in as well. The name Anthony Lang sounds familiar. He's also a football player at Christ the King, a defensive end named to News 12 Varsity's all, and all New York City team. Justin Terry, the other royal name to the squad. Khalid Moore underneath. Lloyd inbounded with 24 to shoot. They fling it to Livingston. High pass towards Anthony, tries to save it, and he stepped out of bounds. And Alvarado and Cockburn will check in, so Arbitello subbing. There's two stars, offense, defense. And Cockburn already with two fouls. And you don't want him to pick up one so late in the second quarter. Malloy has relegated Moses Brown to the bench, whether it be for personal foul reasons, he does have two, or just personnel reasons. But just like Malloy was able to attack the interior, Christ the King might want to do the same. Walker, never mind. He'll just knock down a three. Well, Walker's hit a couple from downtown. And he is feeling it, able to line that one up and give his team a 32-26 lead with 34.8 to go. 16 points in the first half for Tyson Walker. He's hit a couple from distance. Seen as the point guard of the future for this Christ the King Royals team. And he's not letting this Friday night atmosphere affect him. A 32-26 lead for the Royals, 24 seconds to go in the second quarter. Herring, the kick out and a foul before the pass. And that foul is going to go on Anthony Lang, and that's the exact reason why he's in the game right now, to pick up those fouls instead of it being Alvarado or Cockburn. And two upcoming for Herring. Herring, 14 points against Mount St. Michael Tuesday afternoon. And the switch has come Jalen Davis and Lang to the bench, Cockburn and Alvarado back in. Herring the southpaw, and he flushes the second one, Joe Hotch. Check in for Herring. Shot clock turned off, exactly 20 seconds to go in the second quarter, a 32-27 lead for Christ the King on the road. Walker getting trapped, and he stepped out of bounds. Nice double team by Archbishop Malloy, causing the turnover, and now they can hold for the final shot. Cole Anthony with three. He'll hoist one up, and he banks it in. And that will do it. Well, the bank is open at exactly 8 o'clock on a Friday night in Queens, and Cole Anthony at the buzzer puts his team within three. So we'll step aside. When we come back, we'll give you first half stats. Price the King with a 32-29 lead at the half on News 12 Varsity's Game Time. If you want to look at continuity, you look at the Malloy coaching staff over the last 67 years. The Standers have only had three head coaches. Lou Carnesecca took over in 1950 for St. Anne's and then left for the St. John's job. And then it was time for Jack Curran, and Curran really put this program on the map. 55 years as the head honcho in Briarwood, and Mike McCleary taking over when Curran passed away in 2013. A three-point lead for Christ the King as we start the second half. Khalid Moore, Cole Anthony, John Herring, Jackson Vertucci, and Moses Brown on the floor for the Standers. And Khalid Moore gets the first bucket of the second half for the Standers, and he puts them within one, 32-31. For Christ the King, they roll out their starters, Tyson Walker, Jared Harrison Hunt, Jose Alvarado, Phillips Joseph, and Coffey Cockburn. Both Brown and Cockburn with two fouls each in the first half. Harrison Hunt using the head fake, and he draws the foul. 
And that's gonna be number three against Brown. Well, Jared Harrison Hunt said in practice this week that he's not looking to be a scorer this year, but a solid role player. As he sinks the first free throw. However, he said, despite not looking to be the scorer this year, his jump shot is night and day compared to last year, and that he's really confident from the free throw line and inside. He knocks down a pair of freebies, and it's a three-point lead for Christ the King. Now it's Cole Anthony. Picks up his dribble. Scoops it over. John Herring, the southpaw. The kick out to Vertucci. Can't handle the pass. 20 to shoot. Vertucci to the dish. Can't get it. Brown second chance, and he draws the foul. And the foul's going to go against Tyson Walker, the team's first. And that's the third personal foul on Tyson Walker. So Tyson Walker, one starter for Christ the King with three fouls. Moses Brown, a starter for Malloy with three fouls. As Brown misses the second, going one of two on the trip. And a 10 second violation. Tyson Walker lackadaisically walking into the front court. Well, Walker wasn't so lackadaisical in the first half. 16 points on seven of nine from the floor. He led all scorers, and now it's Anthony and Alvarado. Here's Anthony with the spin move to the 10, no. Phillips, Joseph, and Anthony in the possession arrow, giving the Royals the basketball. Jose Alvarado headed to Georgia Tech next year. Harrison Hunt almost swaying backcourt. And Alvarado will reset it with 18 to shoot. Calling for a screen, gets it, moves around, Cockburn. The pull up, Alvarado, cash. Jose Alvarado. 11 points for Alvarado and a 36-32 lead for the Royals. 6-12 to go in the third quarter. It's Moore. He thought about jacking up a three. He'll take it. No good. Off to the right. Here's Herring. Herring to the hoop. Brown, no, but a whistle. And that's going to go against Coffey Cockburn. And that's his third personal. And Brown sinks the first one. Well, last year, Christ the King at times could get in trouble with their starters picking up a bevy of fouls in the first half, and they can get away with it with the depth that they had this year. They don't have that same depth, as we mentioned earlier, losing Tyrone Cohen, Jared Rivers, Yashawn Bright Gonzalez as Cockburn turns it over. And it'll stay on this end. After Vertucci couldn't handle it. Walker in the corner. And it'll give it back out to Alvarado. Alvarado using a big screen. Cockburn laid one on Anthony. Walker can't stick the jumper. Cockburn, and he'll clean it up. Coffee Cockburn using that 6-11 frame to give Christ the King a 38-33 lead. And now it's Herring. Herring between the legs, driving inside, no, but a foul. There have been a healthy amount of fouls called by this officiating staff. Phillips Joseph picks up his second personal and the team's third. Uh, 
And Herring misses the first one. Well, this is a Malloy team that has had trouble at the charity stripe. As a collective hole, they shoot 63% from the free throw line. And one of two goes Herring. Now Alvarado marching in. Floats a pass. Joseph, he'll tee one up, and it rattles out. Here's Herring. Euro step. And the flush. John Herring. John Herring can be the X factor for this Malloy team. He doesn't have the cachet in as maybe a Moses Brown, Cole Anthony, or Khalid Moore has, but when he's in a groove, when he's in a groove, Malloy can be dangerous in this Catholic league. They're down to 38-36, 4:30 to go in the third quarter, as that one goes into the stands. Harrison Hunt floating it into Alvarado. As he barks out orders, calling for a screen, but he gets another defender. Herring and Moore forcing Alvarado to give it up. In the corner, it's Walker from about 15 feet away, and he gets whacked on the way up. Foul's on number 50 of the Senators, Cole Anthony, his first. And that foul's going to go against Cole Anthony, his first, and the team's third. Two shots to Tyson Walker. Tyson Walker averaging 12 and a half points a game. And he misses the first free throw, but in the first half, Walker telling the rest of his teammates, everyone get on my shoulders and I'll take you there. 17 points in that first half as he goes 0 of 2 from the free throw line. But Christ the King still with possession. Inside, Cockburn. And it'll be an offensive foul, Jackson Vertucci doing a good job. He's 11 inches shorter than Cockburn, planted himself and took a wallop. And that's gonna be the third foul on Cockburn, so he's gonna have to sit for a while. Fourth foul, excuse me. So with 4.09 to go and Malloy trailing by two, this might be their best opportunity to attack the interior, especially with Moses Brown on the floor. On the elbow, it's Moore, the handoff. Jade C checks in. Brown calling for it. Here's Brown, and we'll get a foul on the floor. Anthony Lang picking up the foul, his second, and the team's fifth. Anthony to inbound it. Here's Moore. He'll jack up a three. Splash. Khalid Moore from downtown. And Malloy takes its first lead of the second half, 39-38. Here's Walker. Underneath Alvarado. Too easy. Malloy and King playing leapfrog with the lead. And here's Walker the other way, and he picks up the foul on C. Foul's on number 22 of Malloy, Jake C. That's his second. Team's fourth. Second foul on C, and the team's fourth. Here's Alvarado getting a screen from Lang. He'll hoist a three, no good. See the other way. Malloy going fast and Alvarado picks the pocket of Moore. Walker the other way and he gets the roll. Tyson Walker is doing it for the Royals. See, the floater, that's off to the left. 
Brown trying to grab the offensive board. NC will get a new possession for Malloy. Moore, he'll try a three, and he clanks it. Rebound Walker. Walker looking ahead to Alvarado. All the time in the world, and he can't sink it. And we'll get a foul on the floor. And Anthony Lang picks up his third. 16 foul for the Royals as Adam Al Gamal will check in for Anthony Lang. If Adam Al Gamal and that last name Al Gamal sound familiar, he's the brother of Lamis Al Gamal, the four year varsity player at Baldwin. She graduated last year, part of that Nassau County Championship team, losing to Comac in the Long Island Championship. Cole Anthony in the corner. Underneath to Brown. Brown working. Blocked by El Gamal. And it'll stay with Malloy. They float it in. Moore puts it on the deck. And another whistle. As the foul will go against Jared Harrison Hunt. And one and one coming the rest of the way for Malloy. And Moore misses the front end. Jalen Davis, Jose Alvarado, Adam El Gamal, Phillips Joseph, and Jared Harrison Hunt on the floor for the Royals. Bodies go flying. And they'll say it'll stay with Christ the King. Cole Anthony, Jade C, Moses Brown, Khalid Moore, and John Herring on the floor for the Stanners. And the Stanner faithful. Playing that the ball should be going the other way. Alvarado with two minutes to go in the third quarter and his team up three. Guarded by Herring. Davis in the corner. Here's Davis and a whistle on the floor. Fouls on number 50 of the centers, Paul Anthony. His second personal, 15 fouls. Second personal on Anthony. Alvarado, he'll jack up a three and connect. Jose Alvarado from deep. And Christ the King with a 45-39 lead. Here's Cole Anthony wanting to go inside and he'll earn a trip to the line. So that foul's gonna go on Jalen Davis. Well this Game getting chippier. And this officiating staff blowing the whistle more than the fans would have hoped. Anthony rears back and fires and dials the first one. And two for two for the sophomore. The lead's still four for Christ the King, 45-41, a minute 28 to go. They swing it around, Davis thought about a three, couldn't handle it, got away with the walk. Now Alvarado, the handoff. Davis, the kick out, Phillips Joseph, in and out. And a whistle underneath. And Davis picks up his fourth, Tyson Walker to check back in for Christ the King. Well, Cole Anthony not afraid of the pressure. In fact, he embraces it. Only
only 15 years old, but plays with the 17U team for the PSAA, for the PSA Cardinals, his AAU organization. And he goes two for two at the line. Joe Hotch will check in for the standards as Moses Brown will take a breather. So both teams going small as Tyson Walker will float it over. Jared Harrison Hunt to the cup, blocked by Anthony. See the handoff more. And he spins it in. Khalid Moore tying the game for the Standers at 45 with 45 seconds to go in the third quarter. Here's Alvarado working on Moore to the 10. Can't connect on the layup. Ball still loose. Moore comes up with it. And a whistle as the shot clock turns off. 33.7 seconds left in the third quarter. So Alvarado missing the layup and then fouling Moore. And that's his third. Malloy led early in the third quarter. And they'll stay tied for at least one more free throw. And Moore gives the home team a one point lead. Shot clock turned off, 30 seconds to go in the third quarter, a 46-45 lead for Malloy. In the corner, it's Joseph. Flips it over, Walker, he'll tee up a three, bang! As he stares at the Royal contingent in the crowd, he gives his team the lead, 48-46. They isolate Anthony. Now it's C. C to the cup, no. Two seconds, Joseph's gonna let it fly at the horn, it's short. But Tyson Walker hitting a three with under 10 seconds to go, gives Christ the King a two point lead as we head to the fourth quarter. So we play three full and the fourth quarter coming up next on News 12 Varsity's Game Time. Well, Christ the King has dominated the CHSAA over the past 10 seasons and they've won the city title in five of the last seven years. As you see, that 2009-10 team won the Federation title. It was Arbitello's first season and during that year, both the CTK boys and girls won the State Federation Championship. That was the first time in program history that both the boys and the girls won a Federation Championship in the same season. Malloy looking for its first city title since 1987. More underneath, and he ties the game at 48. And then we'll get a foul after the bucket as Adam El Gamal charged into Khalid Moore. So it'll be the first on El Gamal. And two up coming for Moore. Well, Khalid Moore and the rest of the standers having trouble at the charity stripe in the beginning of this game, but Moore has been clutched since. He goes one for two at the free throw line on this last trip. As Jared Harrison Hunt will come down within and another whistle. Foul's on number two of the standers. Moore his third, team six. So Moore giveth and Moore taketh away. <laughs> Malloy applying the press and that's how you break it. Joseph, the pull up, short. Here's Anthony. Anthony with a head of steam to the rack. No. And Brown stepped on the end line. In the corner, it's Joseph again. Joseph, a three. Off the mark, Chris Bryson, who just checks in. Grabs the board, nice pass underneath. Joseph blows the dunk, but draws the foul. Third, 
Foul's going to go against Jade C. His third in the team seven. Two upcoming for Joseph. Joseph saying in practice this week that when he was on the freshman team last year at Christ the King, he would stay and watch the varsity games and map out where he would be when he got the call to the varsity squad and where he fit in in the offense. He studied the playbook. And in the first game of the year against All Hollows, he had the natural jitters, but then once the game got going, it was as if it was second nature. C, Hill line one up, he's way off to the left, but he gets the long rebound, bounces it out. Anthony passes up a three for Moore. Way short, underneath, Brown, yes, and the foul. And it'll be the third personal on Phillips Joseph. And Coffey Cockburn with four fouls checks back into the game with 6.44 to go in the fourth quarter. So it'll be interesting to see how aggressive Malloy is with Cockburn underneath. As Brown misses, Moore goes up with it. As you see, Joseph just putting both hands up, not saying anything. But he's making the case that he just stood straight up. But the officials say, no, sir. That's your fourth personal. As Moore clanks the first free throw. Couple of dribbles, Moore, and he sinks the second. A three-point lead for Malloy, 52-49, 6.42 to go in quarter number four. And another press, they lob it over. It's Joseph in the corner. Harrison Hunt back to Joseph. He looks that way. Now bounces it out to Tyson Walker. 20 to shoot. Walker on Herring. He had Alvarado underneath, but Alvarado goes back out to the wing. 10 to shoot. Alvarado setting up shop, getting a screen, five to shoot. Here's Alvarado underneath and another whistle. That'll be the fourth personal on Khalid Moore. And Christ the King to shoot one and one. Offensive rebound, Harrison Hunt blocked by Brown, gets his own miss and cleans it up. Jared Harrison Hunt, the sophomore. And he puts Christ the King within one. Anthony. We haven't seen Anthony try and get it going from downtown. He's been more of a distributor this game. Here's Moore off the spin move. That gets the crowd going. Now it's Anthony with 12 to shoot, getting some separation. Brown was calling for it. The floater from Anthony gets the bounce. A fortuitous bounce for the sophomore. And Anthony giving his team a 54-51 lead. Alvarado the other way against Brown. Straight up against Moses Brown. And back and forth they go. In the corner at C. See the other corner, rainbow three, short. Herring the offensive putback. John Herring in the right place at the right time, and he gives the Stanners a 56-53 lead. 4.48 to go in the fourth quarter. Floating pass, Joseph, he's got time, short. Here's C the other way, and Malloy being more aggressive, Herring! Four straight points for John Herring. Christ the King's gonna call a timeout, but a five point lead for the Stanners with four and a half minutes to go. Well, Malloy putting it all together in the fourth quarter and looking ahead for the Stanners. Their schedule doesn't get any easier and they're gonna learn a lot about themselves. 
Sunday, they'll take on Christopher Kelly and Queens High School of Teaching. Kelly averaging 26 points a game. And that'll be a part of the apparel challenge at Christ the King. Then on January 14th, the Standers head to Springfield, Massachusetts to take on St. Anthony's from Texas. And then the schedule gets brutal at the end of the month. Lachlan, St. Raymond's, and Monsignor Scanlon all at home, but still a tough week for the Standers. And for Christ the King, they'll get Wings Academy on Sunday. News 12 Varsity will stream that game. Cardinal Hayes will come to Middle Village on January 20th. And then the Royals will return to CCMY to take part in the SNY Invitational. The Royals losing to Cardoza in the championship last year. Mount Vernon, Christ the King, St. Raymond's, and St. Anthony out of Jersey City all taking part in the SNY Invitational. But John Herring wearing 20 in white, scoring the last four points to give Malloy a 58-53 lead at home on a Friday night in Queens. Walker gets it across. Walker working on C. And it'll go the other way. Walker stepped out of bounds. Walker pleading that Anthony was the one that last touched it. But they'll give it to the Stanners. Moses Brown underneath. Working on Cockburn. Cockburn only has four fouls, so he can't be as aggressive, and Brown takes advantage. Seven-point lead for the Standers, four minutes to go. Harrison Hunt underneath, blocked by Brown. Moses Brown staying straight up, and he gets the block. Brown averaging three blocks a game. In the Catholic League, that's the most. Now it's Cole Anthony. To see to Moore. Moore thought about a three. Now the fall away from the free throw line. Clanks out. And a whistle underneath. Foul's on number one with the Sanders. Closing Brown, his fourth person. And Brown's going to pick up his fourth. And the team's ninth. Colby Conferm shooting one and one. So one and one for the 6'11 sophomore. Barbatello says that Cockburn is just so coachable and he could run plays for Cockburn. He doesn't have to run plays for Cockburn, but he always seems to be doing the right thing. Second free throw upcoming for Coffee. Can hit the second, ball still tipped around. Jared Harrison Hunt comes down with it, goes up, gets blocked by Brown. And then a couple of loose balls as Jose Alvarado not happy with that one. Claiming that he got all ball and he walks it off. It'll be his third personal. And a good job by Alvarado of just getting out of the way and Arbitello leading for his point guard. Now Anthony. And he splashes the first free throw. Second free throw for Anthony, and he gets it to go. Well, Malloy at the charity stripe, they've struggled. They've missed 18 free throws. But Anthony hits the second, and he gives Malloy a 62-54 lead. Hunt looking to change that. Cockburn all over Moses Brown. Put him on a poster. And that'll get the Royals fans all fired up. Here's more the other way. Underneath, Brown! And he's got an answer back. And 
through all of that, Coffee Cockburn has just picked up his fifth foul. But Jack Curran Gymnasium is going to fall apart at the seams. First, it was Coffee Cockburn with the one handed jam over Brown. And then Brown said to Cockburn, Anything you can do, I can do better. And he put it down with two. Moses Brown gets three the hard way and three the exciting way. And it's a nine point lead for Malloy. Anthony with the steal. Anthony to Brown. And they can't connect on the alley oop. Well, Malloy has finally gotten into an offensive groove, and Anthony and Brown on the same page. That close to putting down an alley oop. Anthony inside to Brown. Brown working on El Gamal. And we'll get a whistle on the floor. El Gamal attacking Brown with the foul. Foul number 44, Adam second So it'll be the second for El Gamal. And the first free throw from Brown is good. And two for two for Brown. There's Alvarado looking to get his team back into it, but he doesn't. John Herring with the exclamation point. Herring took it away from Alvarado and then slammed it home with two. Alvarado to answer back from three. He's off the mark. Malloy has numbers. Herring the Euro step blocked by Alvarado. Here comes Walker. Walker blocked by Anthony, ball still tipped around, and Moses Brown will come up with it, but we'll get a whistle underneath as Adam El Gamal fouls Khalid Moore. Malloy has opened up a 13 point cushion. They've done so by forcing Christ the King to turn it over. They've done a good job knocking down their shots and, of course, putting the ball in the basket emphatically. And Moses Brown with perhaps the dunk of the night over Coffee Cockburn. And Malloy has done nothing but soar since that jam. 2.02 to go in the fourth quarter. A 69-56 lead for Malloy over Christ the King on a Friday night in Queens. Danny Acevedo, the producer. Elio Velez, the live caster. I'm John Perez. Oh, that's the first free throw. Cashes in for more. They've waited all week for this at Malloy. And the home crowd, wide eyed and smiling. Walker the other way. He banks it in. Well, Christ the King leading after the first, the second, and the third quarter, but Malloy storming back. They have a 12-point lead. Anthony, and he gets fouled. And that will do it for Alvarado. His fifth personal, and his night is done. So Christ the King with both of its stars fouling out. Jose Alvarado and Coffee Cockburn. Well, 
Anthony Young to check in for Christ the King. Well, when I spoke to Cole Anthony earlier in practice this week, and I asked him about the Christ the King matchups from last year, he looked at me dead in the eye and flat out said, this year's different. We just have to flat out win. Well, him and Moses Brown are doing all that they can to put their team in front of Christ the King as they lead 71-58 with a minute and 32 seconds to go. And Tyson Walker, who was leading the Royals in the first half with 17 points, was quieted. And Malloy doing a good job on the interior to put themselves in front. Walker gets the first. Second free throw upcoming, and Walker cashes in a pair. And Anthony drawing the foul. First foul committed by Young. Foul's number three in the row, Anthony Young, his first. Good shot to Cole Anthony. Oh, Cole Anthony, living, eating, sleeping, breathing, basketball. Says that he tries to watch a game a night. Picks up different things from point guards. Moses Brown calls him Russell Westbrook. In this game, Anthony not as aggressive shooting the ball, but getting the ball into the right hands. His team with a 13-point lead. Here's Walker on the inside. Scoop layup, no. And Walker comes back up with it. Walker, El Gamal sets his feet, and he's short on the jumper. Well, this is what Christ the King's going to look like for the next couple of years. You have to insert Coffee Cockburn, but... This is essentially what the Royals are going to be. They're a young team. And Malloy still a young team as well. And Khalid Moore showing off the handles. With 10 to shoot. Anthony to the cup. Yes, and the foul. But for Malloy, you'd have to imagine with Cole Anthony and Moses Brown leading the way, even Khalid Moore, their future is as bright as anybody's in the Catholic League. 45.2 seconds to go in this fourth quarter. As Malloy's gonna call a timeout, we'll step aside. 45.2 seconds to go. A 16 point lead for the Standers in the fourth quarter on News 12 Varsity's game time. Under a minute to go in the fourth quarter. Tyson Walker with his team down 16. Jose Alvarado is fouled out. Coffee Cockburn is fouled out. Jalen Davis hits the jumper. And Christ the King will apply the press as they throw it into Anthony. Anthony guarded by Anthony Young. Splits a couple of defenders. Leaves it off. Brown underneath. And Brown's going to get called for steps. As the shot clock turns off. 23 seconds to go. Well, Christ the King led at the end of the first, second, and third quarter, but a huge fourth quarter by Moses Brown. 19 points and 13 rebounds for the junior from Briarwood. Well, Christ the King swept Malloy last year. And Malloy's going to take the first one. So the personal foul on Tyson Walker, and then Cole Anthony gets a tech. So Cole Anthony will shoot the initial two because he was fouled. And then Christ the King will get a free throw. 4.8 seconds to go. Second free throw from Anthony is good. And 
And Jackson Bertucci will check in for Cole Anthony. Walker shooting two. But we'll watch this one. And from the bench as Walker will shoot the technical. So Walker goes two for two. Four seconds, Walker will fling this one up. And in front of a capacity crowd, Malloy has a huge fourth quarter. And they brush aside Christ the King, 78-67, behind Moses Brown's double-double, 19 points and 13 rebounds. We'll speak to our player of the game after this one. Malloy, the winner on a Friday night on News 12 Varsity's Game Time. We're back here in the hallways of Archbishop Malloy High School and the man standing to my right, a double-double and a winning effort, Moses Brown. The play of the night, the, the big dunk on Coffee Cockburn, can you just take us through that because that seemed to get you guys over the edge. Um, it was a great pass by my teammate Khalid. Uh, Kofi Cockburn, he dunked on me. It was unexpected. I didn't think he was going to get up like that, but I came right back at him. I didn't get frustrated or anything. I just kept playing. So. What can you say about your team's effort in the fourth quarter? You're trailing the first three quarters, and the fourth quarter you guys just come over the edge. Well, it all started with practice. We, we just, we just bust, busted out all practice all week, and we just came out here ready to win. It's something to prove because they beat us twice last year. So, How much does this team have to prove, considering that you guys lost in the semis last year, might have the most talent in the city, but are still looking for that city championship? I definitely feel like we like the underdogs of the CHSA. We, I feel like we could take the whole state, honestly. We got a nice team, we're young, and we're all talented, and we work hard, so sky's the limit for what we could do. Cole Anthony, more than 20 points, or probably a very quiet 20 points. What is it like to be his teammate and do the, see the things that he does? Excellent. He, he do everything. He just make my job a lot, a lot easier. He gets me the ball when I need it. I get him the ball off the inbound and whatever, so he's a good player. How much are you guys going to enjoy this win and then look forward to the next one? Well, we, we're not going to get like over our heads with it. We're just going to go right back at it and practice. We got a game Sunday at Christ the King, so against uh, Queens High School to teach him. All right, Moses, thanks for the time. Appreciate it. A statement win for Archbishop Malloy on a Friday night in Queens. For our producer, Danny Acevedo, and our livecaster, Elio Velez, this is John Perez signing off from Malloy on News 12 Varsity's Game Time.